Hi everyone, welcome back to Prakasham Tutorials. In my previous video, I have designed asymmetric coupled interdigital band pass filter. So now here in this video, I am going to design symmetric coupled lines interdigital band pass filter. So these are the design specification. This is the structure of the interdigital. Uh, layout of a 5 pole micro strip interdigital band pass filter, symmetrical coupled lines. So it may also be described to design interdigital band pass filter with symmetrical coupled lines. This means that all the resonators of interdigital filter will have the same line width. In previous de design, the widths are different. So now we are the symmetric coupled lines, the widths are same. So that width is here. W1 is equal, W2 is equal, W3 is equal, W4 is equal, W5 is equal to 2.39. So now we have the lens L1, L5 are 20.45 mm and L2, L4 are 17.91 mm and L3 is 17.83 mm and the spacing between the first, uh, uh, first line and second line the spacing is 0 0.13 and fourth and fifth line spacing is also 0 0.13. And second and third and third and fourth line spacing is 0 0.36 mm. And here in this design, I am I am considering two gigahertz operating frequency. And type of the material is Rosers RT Arduride 6006. And its dielectric constant is 6.15. And height of the substrate is 1.27 mm. So using these basic parameters, calculate the 50 ohm transmission line, which is uh, using microstrip online calculator, calculate the width of the 50 ohm transmission line and its width is 1.85 mm. Now open HFSS software. I will modify previous design. Now we are going to width for same. And this distance is 20 mm and this is 30 mm. And the substrate dimensions and ground plane dimensions is same. Length and width is same. So now I will modify 50 ohm transmission line. And the 50 ohm transmission line the 50 ohm transmission line X portion is 10 mm and y position is minus 1.85 by 2 and x size now we are the 50 ohm transmission line x size is minus 3.535 mm and y size is 1.85 click ok button and another end of the 50 ohm transmission line so this width is 3.535 mm And change this rectangular sheet dimensions. So this rectangular sheet dimension x portion is 4.075 mm. And uh, all the now the widths are same. That width are that width is 2.39 mm. 2.39 and length is L1 is 20.45 mm and Y position is half of the Y size value before indicating negative sign 20.49 by 2 click OK button and another end rectangular sheet so this rectangular sheet Y, y size is 20.49 and X size is minus 2.39 and uh, x position is minus 4.075 mm and y position is 20.45 z position is 0 
Let's change the dimensions of this rectangular sheet. So this rectangular sheet width is all the rectangular sheets are having same width that is 2.39 mm. Now we are going to height is uh, length is 17.91 mm and the exposition is 3.945 mm and y position is 10.07 mm click ok button and change the dimensions of this rectangular sheet x size is 2.39 mm and length is 17.91 mm and x position is minus 2.9 minus 3.945 next change the dimensions of this rectangular sheet width of this line is 2.39 minus 2.39 and length is 17.83 and x position so the x position is 1.195 and y position is 10.07 mm z position is 0 mm so now so you currently set the wire hole ground and this is first wire hole ground so this dimensions are x position is 5.2 mm and y position is 9 mm and radius of the that wire hole ground is 0 0.5 and height is minus 2.7 Second one is this is minus 5.2 and a third wire hole ground. So this wire hole ground x position is 2.7 mm. Next Wire hole ground x position is minus 2.7 mm and this wire hole ground dimensions are same. So, this is the structure of the symmetric coupled inter digital band pass filter. Now check the design validation, click validate button, design is validated, now start the simulation. So this is the band pass response of the symmetric coupled interdigital band pass filter. 
this red color curve is S parameter or return loss curve and green color curve is the insertion loss or transmission or uh, band post filter response curve.